how you doing? Leo, thank you guys so much for being here. I do appreciate your time, your energy, your love, your patience, your understanding. Thank you guys so much for uh, clicking here for your October message, all right? So I do want to apologize for being just um, a little late with your message, but we are here nonetheless. So Leo, sun, moon, rising. Spirit, what is the strongest message that Leo needs to hear during this time for the month of October of 2020? What is the message that Leo needs to hear? What is the strongest message that we have for Leo? Leo. Leo, October 2020. Leo, October 2020. All right, let's get one more shuffle and then we'll go ahead and cut the deck. All right. Okay, right there. All right. Page of Cups. Three of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands. And then our last card is the King of Swords. Okay, so Leo, I'm looking at this energy right now. As you guys um, may have already experienced, of course, uh, coming into the first part of October, um, I do feel like uh, there is this emotional energy that is coming uh, along with you, whether you are the one that's carrying that emotional energy, somebody else around you possibly could be carrying that emotional energy. Uh, but I do feel like it's maybe it's like new emotions. It's emotions that you've probably never have felt before. I do think that some things have taken place. Um, so or better yet, some things are working out. Um, what I'm feeling Leo here is I'm feeling like some things worked out in your favor. Some things worked out in your favor there and you are quite emotional about it. Maybe someone came to you and told you how something was going to work out um, and that allowed you to get emotional, all right? Now, we do have this Eight of Wands energy here. We do have this Eight of Wands energy here. This Eight of Wands energy is letting me know that for a lot of you, like by the third week of August, uh, excuse me, I want to say August. Well, I don't know. It may you may have been hearing messages from someone from August. You may have been trying to get something to work out since August. Okay, so Leo, a lot of you may be in communication with someone, um, or better yet, you may be traveling back and forth to someone, and that's how things are working out. That could be what the solution is. All right, um, but at the end of the day, here we do have the King of Swords. All right, so I do feel. As though that King of Swords energy, Leo, is saying, all right, you know what? I have made up my mind and I am going to, I have a particular like strategic plan that I know is going to work. Um, in fact, it, it, it's almost like you're a leader here, Leo, okay? Um, oh, hmm. there we go. Thank you, Spirit, for kind of putting that story together a little bit for me. Yeah, I definitely, see, okay, Leo, hmm. I do see you starting from the page to the king. So for a lot of you, what I do feel is that um, there's probably some there's probably some new ideas that you are very, very passionate about, but you don't know how to necessarily uh, express it because, you know, it is wrapped up in your passion. OK, it is like a almost like a passion project. OK. And you don't know necessarily you don't necessarily know how this is possibly going to work out for you. But however, I do feel like there is going to be some news that comes in and it may come from someone who is far away from you or maybe someone who sees things at a distance. Like they may kind of see things a little bit removed. OK, but they're going to be stepping in. All right. Maybe giving you some sort of ideas, maybe giving you some sort of direction. They're going to give you that direction to go. And Leo, I see that you're going to run with it. OK, and you're also you're going to lead the people who. um I don't want to say who didn't believe in you. I'm not, it's not like someone doesn't believe in you. I don't necessarily see that. What I, what I feel though is it's almost like you probably didn't believe in yourself and you were afraid to bring whatever ideas to the table to the table only because of how you felt about them. You, I don't see that. I don't, I don't think that there was a lot of confidence in it. Okay. 
and that confidence it had to come from someone else so yeah um this also could be someone else leo in your environment that is leading you in the right direction okay so listen to their advice you may be asking for their advice okay somebody that's uh someone that uh maybe you don't see all the time but you kind of have to um you know see them when you can like they're going to be uh i don't want to say stepping in but they are going to be um maybe giving you ideas giving you some sort of advice almost like i feel like almost giving you a blueprint uh as to what to follow okay um and you just gotta but you gotta be willing i think you gotta be willing to go the distance with it okay the card under the deck, we've got the Three of Wands. So that Three of Wands card under the deck right there, Leo, is telling me, ooh, with that Three of Pentacles there too, there's two threes. So this is now your time, Leo. This is probably one of the more creative times for you during this moment right now, okay? It's probably one of your create like you might be in a very creative zone right now and um it's kind of hard for you to pay attention to your own beliefs. Um, you're kind of afraid of if something is going to work out in your favor or not, but I do feel like it is, okay? I do feel like things are being set up, and I feel like the reason why it's working out in your favor is because it's going to be based off of the level of like uh, authenticity you have in your feelings, okay? Um, almost i, I want to say almost like almost like beginner's luck but <laughs> but uh but instead of beginner's luck you actually do have someone to um kind of help guide you and hold your hand through it um over there with the king of swords it might be an air sign a libra aquarius or a gemini okay but oh what I was going to say was this three of wands and this eight of wands energy, all that fire energy, Leo. Of course, we know that that's your energy. So that three of wands and that eight of wands is telling me like, look, you're um, you're looking out into. Oh, sorry. You're looking out into the distance there. All right. And what did I say here with that eight of wands? You got to be willing to actually go the distance. You got to be willing to go for what it is that you want. And it might take a few tries, but, you know. You know what it is that you want. You know that it's going to work out. You almost kind of are being handed like a blueprint or um, you're almost being handed a blueprint for something. Uh, however, all you needed to do at first was to just express your your interest in it. And then it worked out. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull some Oracle. Right, that card wants to come out, so we will let it. And then give me one more card, Spirit. So the first card we have is the King. Look at there, we got another King, Authority and Diplomacy. So yeah, so um, yeah, at the end, at the end of the day, here for a lot of you Leos, I feel like you're gonna end up shaping up to be a great leader, someone who actually, who can actually lead their squad pack or team to some sort of victory, okay? Um, <laughs> it's just that you don't believe in yourself quite yet. Like you don't, um, you know, you don't feel as though you, I think what it is is you don't feel that you're experienced enough in whatever this is that you're trying to kick off, okay? You don't necessarily feel that you are experienced enough in this matter. All right, give me one more card. Here we go. And we have the hands of fate. Forces beyond your control intervene. So, yeah, like I said, like there's definitely somebody who is like giving you the guidelines, giving you, you know, uh, a heads up maybe or, you know, just some sort of map um, for you to be able to follow. OK, because everything that I see is like it is going in a forward direction as far as what I see. Like I have you here looking at me. Right. And then, you know, these people, uh, this guy is definitely facing that way. This guy is definitely facing that way. This king's sword is facing that way. You know, so I definitely just feel like, you know, everything is set up for you to move forward, Leo. 
um, just follow the path. Follow the path that's set for you, okay? Some of you, you may even have to get in touch with some sort of um, some sort of spiritualist. It doesn't have to be a tarot reader. It doesn't have to be a palm reader. But it can just be someone at your, at your church, if you go to church. Or it can be someone at your, you know, your place of worship. Just a friend, somebody, you know, somebody that has some sort of insight, right? Um, you're going to either be seeking knowledge from them or seeking a path from them if you don't already know the path. Or if you don't already know the path, they're just going to be giving it to you. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and roll some dice. All right. So we've got, ah, uh, it's over there. All right. So we've got the number six. We've got the sign of Neptune. And then we also have the symbol of Pisces, okay? So, Leo, so I feel like for a lot of you, um, this is probably going to be in the direction of, like, service. I feel like some of you are going to be trying to figure out how you can be of service to somebody. Um, you probably are going to have to, uh, you're probably going to have to sacrifice something for whatever this is to work out. And that might be exactly what it is that you need a little bit of guidance about. Like you know, there may be a couple of things that you're trying to jog, uh, that you're trying to toggle, but you don't know necessarily what you should put down so that you can pick up this wonderful opportunity. Because with the Pisces emblem there, I do feel like there is a lot of things that you are emotionally attached to because you have almost kind of matured into those things already like some that whatever whatever it is that you're having to sacrifice or put down in order to pick this up um it's just a little hard because you've been vested in it you know um so just take a look at those energies leo hopefully everything works out for the best i do feel like it is so i'm really excited about what you guys are going to let me know in the comment box below Thank you again so much for your likes, your shares, your subscribes. Please continue to do those things. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.